I'd never stayed a shot, ever. You know, no lights, just shoot it how it is. The warts and the scratches, it's gotta be real. I used to really hate looking like a tourist, but it can be really helpful because nobody pays attention when you're taking pictures. It helps keep the moment more genuine. People won't change what they're doing. I want to be flying the wall. I want to be like right in the middle of a group but so nobody can see me. You know, if they're invisible, it'd be perfect. If they see you raise a camera, they're gonna stop and pull back. So 95% of the time, I don't look through the viewfinder. It's like pointing what I think, you know, the picture might be. It frames photos in a way I would never ever consider doing just because it's against the rules or whatever. But I like that, you know, I like, you know, having faces cut off here. It can't be too perfect because real life isn't perfect. Journalism in general, you report what's there, but you don't change it. You know, you don't fabricate things, and you know, I take it to heart. I left a well-paying job writing to document the cracks of America. You know, the parts that are disappearing, the parts that are emerging, the in-between bits. You know, it's like if everybody's pointed this way, you know, I want to like turn around and see what is to their back. You know, there's always the decisive moment, like if you catch the photo just right when it all comes together, it's really gratifying. So I'm looking at these piles of pictures that I've taken, and I'm just like, what am I gonna do with this? I'm spending all this money on gas and food and film, and I'm, I'm trying to find a thread, because I know there's something in there that links them. For instance, the shot I have of this palm tree against the Superdome right after Hurricane Katrina. It doesn't make sense by itself, but that paired with something larger, it, it connects together and it tells a story. It captures a moment that just will never happen again.